Hi everyone, this is Susie. Hope everybody's doing well and feeling fine today. I'm just going to make a quick video. Tomorrow is Mother's Day and I've been very busy trying to get a lot of other things together. And I made a few things for my mom, but this one of them I just wanted to share with you quickly. Um, something that I made. Um, I wound up finding a really old photo of my mom from when she was probably about 19 or 20 years old. Um, my mom is in her late 70s right now, so um, I really wanted to share this photo with you along with the beautiful frame that I made for her for a Mother's Day gift, one of them anyway. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, that's my mom. <laughs> And um, I was like actually in tears when I found this because um, I know she she is going to be very overwhelmed when she sees this picture because I found it in my dad's wallet. When my father passed away, um, I kept his wallet and I never went through it this entire time and he passed away five years ago. So um, I was thinking of him so much this morning. I went through his wallet and found this old photo of my mom there. She's just so very beautiful in this picture that I thought it would be really great to scan it because it was like one of those those toll booth photos, those little small like three by threes. And uh, so I scanned it, enlarged it, and I put in a frame that I had in my drawer that was raw from Michaels from like a long time ago. So I just whitewashed it very lightly with some paint, nothing special. And I put some um, lace on the outside and on top of the lace I just put some more lace way up on top it's very very narrow it's from my local fabric store very pretty and um, the the beaded uh, the beaded trim that's there it's like it's per pearls on it on a strand those are from wild orchid crafts just and so are all of the other flowers with the exception to the stray pearls that are in there just absolutely stunning I went with a color of like a grape color because that's my mom's favorite color. She loves purple, so I try to get something as close to purple as I possibly can. And I incorporated um, off-white and um, ivory flowers and roses and just some of those long leaves and some of these other really long flowers that are like on a vine and this miniature tiny teeny little uh, rose buds also and the hip roses. Just absolutely gorgeous. I believe the large ones are the large trellis roses, just really stunning. It made the entire uh, the entire uh, project look really, really beautiful. As you can see, I kind of cascaded them along. It's kind of like my style. Um, I, that's just the way I roll, I guess. <laughs> hate saying it that way, but that's the way it is. Um, so yeah, so I um, I just really wanted to share this with you. I love the way that it came out. Um, the frame is beautiful, and my mother is even more beautiful in this picture. Until this day, she is still beautiful. So um, it's very hard for us for Mother's Day tomorrow because we lost my sister a year and a half ago, and she's took it, taken it very, very, very hard. So I am trying to. I am a very good daughter. I, I was just, I'm just good in general, and I've always g believed in doing good and being good. And I'm trying my best to spread myself thin because my sister is not here. And um, I'm trying to make her happy, so I made her a few things. And um, I made... I'll show you what else I made her. Wait a second. <laughs> I wasn't going to you know, share this because it really wasn't things that I normally make. But I had seen a video, and I wanted to um, try it out. And I said, what am I going to do with this? So... <laughs> I'm going to give it to her. It's one of those big coffee balls. Um, it, it's all white. It's, it's no, you know, it's got one of these things to hang it up on. It's it's really pretty. But I just figured maybe she can use it for a decoration, like in her spare room or something like that in the house. So, um, yeah, that's it came out really nice for a first-time trial. I really wanted to try it out. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, wildwilkercrafts.com is where I got those flowers I used to design for them so I had quite a bit of a variety of flowers left behind and um, I thought I would go ahead and use some today and um, and make this project for my this gift for my mom so I hope you all like it and I hope all of you who are mothers who are friends you know who who are mothers 
who are grandmothers, who are who have friends that are mothers, and those of you who are not mothers, who are motherly, um, have a wonderful, wonderful. I'm I'm not a mother. I have three dogs, but um, uh, have a wonderful, wonderful holiday tomorrow. Enjoy, and whatever you do, be safe and enjoy. Today is Saturday. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, and thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate all of your love and support. As always, uh, subscribing to my channel and leaving comments, I really appreciate everything. Um, so thank you so very much for stopping by today, and have a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. Ma, I love you, Mom. Love you, Ma. Bye.